Hey everyone, welcome back to another uh, set review on my channel. Hope everyone's doing good. I just filmed my last video. So I'm actually filming two videos in a row right now because I've, I've missed some days. So I'm kind of trying to make up for lost time. But this one I'm actually, um, I say I'm excited about every single one of them, but this one I'm like actually pretty excited about because um, I've been trying to get my hands on this one for such a long time. But for some reason, by the gods, I went into Target a couple weeks ago and there I saw it upon my vision. I immediately snagged like two of them and then ran out the store. So it looks like um, all things considered, like my Target in my area is pretty much stocked up on Lego. I just went in the other day and they actually have all the sets from the new wave, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, but overall, just, uh, yeah. I have been trying to get this set since its release and it literally has taken me forever. It took getting it to my store to finally get it. Like it came out in what, April? And I didn't see it on the shelf until August. It did not, I did not get this set until the newest wave of 2022 came out of uh, the summer. So this set was supposed to come out in, I believe March or it was, it was some. it was, it was before uh, April, I'm pretty sure. And I waited this long to get it. And then my target finally had three of them. I immediately snagged two of them. But um, this is the um, Republic Fighter Tank. Um, this is a seven plus set. And it's set 75342 with 262 pieces. And this one's $40. Um, first off, over initial thoughts. Uh, why the fuck is it $40? Good question. I don't know, but here it is. Was it worth it? Yes. Um, but as far as why it's worth $40, um, I think what the mini things are pretty straightforward. Um, as far as why it's $40, I really don't know, especially if it's going to be a junior set. But I mean, no one's buying this set for the bills. They're all buying it for the figs. You're getting Mace Windu, um, three um, clone troopers, two of the 332nd, and then a 332nd airborne captain, I believe is what it's called. Commander, sorry, it was a commander. Um, this is the best set that no one wanted. Like no one asked for this at all. No one asked us for this to be made. This just happened. And this is like, like these aren't even like uh, commander, Sorry, these aren't even Mace Windu's like clones. Like his clones have like red, like dark red markings. But I guess that this is like something from like the deep, like comic, like lore, I guess. And they said, you know what? Let's go with that. Um, and overall, I I'll take it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're getting, we're getting like four exclusive minifigs um, that we've never gotten before. I mean, minus the two battle droids, but no one really gives a crap about them. No offense guys, um, but Let's just dig right into it. I'm, I'm excited about this. First up, starting with our 187th Legion Clone Trooper, you do get two of these, which are fantastic looking, by the way. Um, I could definitely see them reusing this design for when they make Shock Troopers, which I know that they will, so they'll just print it in red. Um, but great purple design. I also like how they have the strap over the top of the torso to the um, to the bottom. Um, the 501st clone troopers don't have that. So this is a new um, print for these guys. Um, obviously really cool printed legs, printed feet even. I just love all the little accents and hints of purple everywhere. Um, back also has that little strap on the back. It comes with just a regular standard uh, blaster. And then obviously under there we have our um, regular um, clone face here, which obviously we're going for that newer style to match um, to more and more as a skin tone. But yeah, we get two of these great figs. Moving on, we have our 187th Legion commander, um, our clone commander, which I don't know why they're calling it a clone commander. It's just an airborne trooper. I mean, I guess it looks like one because it's the only one in the set. But um, it's cool seeing the airborne trooper with like because the only other airborne troopers we've gotten have been from the 212th Legion. So they've had the orange markings. 
and then I believe one of them came in a Geonosian trooper battle pack, so it was like desert camo. So it's cool seeing it with like um with purple and stuff like that all over the body. He comes with a bit more um, of the straps and belt buckles, so he's got a little bit more going on. He also comes with these little um, stripes here on his chest, which I think are cool. Um, we turn to the back. He does come with back printing. Obviously, he's got some more straps. He comes with a bit of more, more of a blaster rifle. I really like the um, the candle piece on the gun for some reason. I don't know. I just think it looks really cool. I mean, we definitely had, like, they've tried to add things onto the blaster before, especially the long ones, and it, they just kind of looked weird, but um, I like the candlestick. I think it works. Um, overall head, same head as the rest of the clones, nothing special. Um, yeah. Moving on, we have Mace Windu. Um, this is the best Mace Windu we've ever gotten in any, any set by far because he comes with arm printing. Um, <laughs> yeah, he comes with arm printing. It's sick. Um, but he has the little Republic logo on his, um, his arm right here. And he, it's, he's like wearing the clone armor like from the Clone Wars because his, his Clone Wars character wears um, clone armor, which is pretty cool. Um, obviously he's got the Jedi robes and the torso here. He's got the leg printing. He's got some nice definition on the face, which I wish you could see because it's really cool, but you might not be able to because it's dark. Um, but yeah, leg printing. And then he comes with some, um, some back printing as well. But the arm printing just makes this figure so much better. Um, great detail on that Lego, good for you guys. And then this set does come with um, just two regular battle droids. You do get two of them, um, nothing special. Obviously the battle droid design has been unchanged for like 20 years. Um, besides, the only thing that's different is that they come with a gray blaster now. Um, I mean, all right, I'm not gonna complain. I, what I will say though is I think it, the, it, it feels like it's made of like a different material though. I don't know why I think that, but like usually the, the droids are like, I can't describe it, but I just feel like it's made of like a different plastic than it's usually made of. Um, let me know if you guys think it's a different plastic because it feels like a different plastic to me. But yeah, so all these. Now let's move on to the set itself. So let's get into this thing. Okay, so um, we've had, I believe this is the third iteration of the Republic fighter tank. And, um, first initial thoughts. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I, I hate its design. Um, I don't like it at all. It, the guns on the side just look weird. Um, I mean, the, the top, this part up here looks okay, but I have trouble opening it up. Um, it does come with wheels though. So it does kind of glide a little better. Um, this set came with way too many stickers. I was like really frustrated and surprised with the amount of stickers that there were. Um, kind of ridiculous. Some pieces on this set just feel really flimsy that like they're gonna fall off. Like this cockpit here just annoys the absolute shit out of me. It's, it's just so poorly put on here. I, like it's being held together with these skeleton hands down here. And I don't like it at all. The interior is just bland. Like, I mean, you can put a figure in there. Um, we'll just put this guy in here for reference. I'll try to sit him down. Hold on, give me <laughs> two seconds here. There we go, get in the old fucker. Um, I mean, but also how the hell is he supposed to see out of this? He can't see out of this. Um, and he's got nothing to freak, he's got no control panels. There's nothing for him to hit, for him to, <laughs> sorry, piece of hair. There's nothing for him to, no buttons for him to push. Like he's just, he's just sitting there for the ride, you know? I don't like this cockpit piece. It's really bad. Um, up here, there's a bit more. This is, which is typically where we put um, the airborne commander, I guess. But so he, he can stick out the top of it, which is cool, right? But you try to take his gun out and let's we'll see if we can sit him down in here. He, he can't sit down in here. There's not enough room. He can only, he can stand. 
But that's about it. But that's about it. I mean, well, I mean, to be honest, I just like forced him down. But if we try to just regularly sit him in this set here, sorry, I'm like trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. He can't even, yeah, he can't even sit down. He's not in a room. It doesn't work. He just flips over and it looks like he's just sleeping on the job. It just doesn't make any sense. And then this bit over here is supposed to open up so that way, you know, the clones can, I guess, come out and join the battle. But like, you can't even fit a figure in there. Like you can fit him on like the, on the ramp, but like he can't fit behind there. There's nowhere he can go. It's just dumb. Over, oh yeah, and that, and yeah, like I said, as I said that one of these pieces just flies right off. It does come with two stud shooters on the side, which see if I can use it on one of the paddle droids here. That'd be cool. Um, I can't, they can't even stand up. It does come with two stud shooters on the side here. Um, let's see if I can line it up. Missed it completely, but you know how it works. We've all seen stud shooters before. Um, overall, I really just. The figures are great, but this set design, man, is just absolutely it's garbage. I hate it. Um, I only bought it for the figures. Alrighty, so what are my overall thoughts? So, figures, 10 out of 10, awesome. Set, freaking five out of, actually no, negative two. It's just not enjoyable. The build is just not good. I don't like it. Um, I, I understand that it's a junior set, but like, just cause it's junior doesn't mean that you could have, you know, made it a little better. Um, but like I said, $40 is a bit of an increase, especially when the 501st battle pack, um, comes with, I believe the same amount of figures. Um, it actually comes with less pieces and we're being charged more for it. it just doesn't really make any sense. This should have been... This set should have been $30. Don't see why they needed to make it 40, but I mean, it is, it's Lego. They'll do whatever they want, I don't care. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy about these figs, so I can't be too upset. Um, I picked up two of these the moment I saw them in Target because I was so happy. Um, but yeah, my Target is like back up to stock now. They got all the, the new stuff. So I'm going to be getting more stuff at some point. I just bought a, another Lego set to review, actually. Um, the only two sets that I don't have yet to review is I do not have the, um, I do not have the Ambush on Ferrix or Ferrix. I think yeah, it's Ferrix with um, Andor because that set looks phenomenal. I want to get my hands on that. And then I do not have the ATTE. That'll probably be the last one I buy. Like I said, I'm not buying Cad Bane Justifier. I'm noping the hell out of that. It's not gonna happen. And then I'm I might buy the Junior set. I mean, if it's 30 bucks, so it's definitely worth it overpriced. But we'll see. Um, but I just have 30 dollars that I don't like. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a good set. Um, Mini think wise, terrible build wise. Those are my final thoughts and opinions. Do what you will with them. Anyone can have their own opinion. This is America. Um, but overall, thank you guys. Have a great day. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye-bye.